Now, to answer your, the other part of your question about palm muting, there are times when you're alternating between chords and just maybe a single note, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this case, we have notes that are muted and notes that are not muted. Anytime the note is not muted, your hand has to come up. The palm has to come off the bridge. Otherwise, you'll mute the note that you don't want to mute, right? Mm -hmm. So naturally, if the palm is alternating between being here and being here, and really fast, you're alternating your palm. In, in addition to picking, you're also doing this, alternating mm -hmm. the hand position. So of course, that's going to affect how the pick moves, whether it's the wrist is up in the air or whether it's down, okay? So sometimes it's going to pick across, sometimes it may come up or down. Different players uh, will do that differently depending on if the hand is already traveling down or moving up when the picking motion happens. Okay, so it's, you can think of the picking as on the muted notes going like this, and on the unmuted notes going like this, or possibly like this. Okay. But still in little straight lines. Because I found um, when I started practicing the thumb muting technique, yep. it was much easier for me to go in a straight line. Yes, because your thumb is anchored to the strings, or it's resting on the strings, and it doesn't allow you to go up and down. Exactly. But when I switch to palm muting, uh, I feel like it's much more harder to use the wrist to pick. I feel like my arm is moving much more because I'm going, I'm supposed to go in this direction, right? Or can I still go in, yeah, can, in yeah. a straight line? Yes. Yeah. 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 Straight with palm muting is a, it is harder than with the thumb muting because mm -hmm. the thumb muting already your your pick is, your hand is naturally at rest down here in the trenches of the strings, mm -hmm. so it's really easy to move it across. But when your palm is anchored here, your hand is not at rest down here; it's at rest up here, and that's what what happens then is you got players who are swooping down at the strings because they're playing and then they're relaxing. When they relax, the pick goes up because this is where the hand is at its natural state of rest. Okay, so in order to do that, without the swooping down, you've got to mute here, and then this tilts down this way. So now your state of natural rest is still down here. So both the thumb and this part of the hand is resting on the strings? Or well, this part is doing the mute against the bridge, yeah. right? The thumb isn't doing anything in this case. So it's not it's resting on the strings, or? No, no. Well, it depends on, if we're on a high enough string, it'll rest on the lower ones. Mm -hmm. But typically for rock and metal rhythms, we're playing on the low E and the A a lot. So it's just sort of there, right? There's got, it's got nowhere to rest if we're doing this. But the thumb is still in position. If there was a, two other strings over here, then it would be resting on those two. Okay, so it's still in position as if it was going to do thumb muting, even though it's not actually muting anything, just so that the natural state of rest for the pick is down here in the trenches of the strings, so we can pick straight across. Okay? The other benefit to that is it versus this, is it makes the evenness of tone and attack between downstroke and upstroke more equal than this does. Mm -hmm. Downstrokes are so much more powerful than upstrokes if you're picking from this position. If you're picking from this position, there's much less of a difference in strength between down and up, because up is now a lot stronger than it was in the other position. 